never forget the eyes of Bluthunder. Bloodhound's one of my favorites, actually. I am Bluthunder. The important thing to take away with Bloodhound is that Bloodhound is a character that is designed all around uh, starting and entering fights from as best a tactical perspective as possible in that uh, you have information about where enemies have been, what they've done. The ultimate allows you to uh, see through a lot of sort of uh, defensive obfuscation, smoke, gas, and all that stuff, and track people better. So if someone's trying to flee from a bloodhound, it's just not, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> They're the uh, ultimate hunter. Yeah, like if you're wounded and crawling away from a bloodhound, that's, unless someone's covering you, it's just not gonna work. I'm sorry, you're, you're just kind of done at that point. The character doesn't inherently have any defensive abilities. Uh, the idea is, is if you understand what your enemy is capable of, your enemy's position, and you have more information about your enemy than they have about you, you can make decisions and control when the fight happens, where it happens, and if you make all of those things favorable to you, you win. And if you know if you're, you're being followed by a bloodhound, you can actually use the fact that the bloodhound can follow you reliably to Trick them. bait them into traps, to yeah. ambush them. As we go through all the characters, we'll talk about this, but a lot of them are sort of designed in a sort of an ecosystem where they're meant to have strengths and limitations so that they're sort of interreliant as a, a fighting unit. And I think that's what makes sort of that baseline squad play interesting. It's not any hard counters to anything. Yes. Like and also, there, you have three members and there are four roles. So, so we have are offense, defense, recon, and support characters. And so there's four roles, but you're always lacking one role in the squad, which means that you have to supplement that deficit with uh, teamwork or strategy. The squad is always gonna have some weakness in some area. I think the community has been very accurate with the, the Bloodhound-Bangalore yeah, combo. Absolutely. Yeah, So they're both a very powerful assault unit in that the Bloodhound can say, this is where the enemies are, and then the, the Bangalore can focus on the obfuscation of the smoke with the pulse and the ultimate. I mean, that's the um, key one, Yeah, right? it, it, it is. Yeah. The, it like is one it's specializes definitely... in blocking vision, the other one sees through it. Yes, so. if you are playing Bangalore, you always want to listen for Bloodhound audio cues because if you hear a Bloodhound that is not your Bloodhound do the the combat scree, you know, you don't scree, want to put the smoke you know, down. yeah, you don't want to put the smoke down. It only hurts your team, basically. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the tracking ability, one of the big things that we had a problem with was originally it was not tied to mobility stuff. So things like mantling, running, all that stuff didn't generate evidence markers. Uh, it was only things like uh, gunshots, blood. Fighting isn't a moving thing. It's more kind of like a puddle. So you just get this big cluster and you're like, yeah, there's death boxes and people fought here. You're telling me what I already know. So adding the mobility element to that really helped so that it was much more of a, you get more bread crumb, uh, breadcrumb trails across the map. Blood On was a tough one. I based it the character's personality off of an amalgamation of one of my favorite uh, Viking characters and uh, a couple of my close personal friends. One of them's non-binary and the other one is uh, gender fluid. They had a big impact on me and I realized I would really like to have a character that represented a non-binary mm -hmm. person. It is your honor to face me. I knew from the beginning because I was making a non-binary character that I wanted them to have an androgynous voice mm -hmm. because I wanted uh, anyone to be able mm -hmm. to feel like they could put themselves into that role. Yes. It's super important to the whole company uh, to have you know inclusion and diversity and representation. The people who make these games, us included, the people who play these games, they come from all walks of life. Like the world yeah. is diverse. There's so many cultures and so many things that that people haven't seen before in their daily lives or that they might not be familiar with. Definitely yeah. not that like we hit everything out no, there, you know, but we're no. trying. We're, we're trying, we're working on <laughs> we're it. We're trying, yeah. we're working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's yeah, more a, characters it's, coming. It's, it's a process, it's a process. <laughs>